Welcome to a look at the best of the 70 kilo women's judo action at the Antalya Grand Slam. You know how the saying goes, you can fool all the people some of the time, but if you don't make it an Ippon, they'll come back and throw you on your head with an Uchimata. At least that's how I remember things from my school days. Let's have a look at Marie-Yves Gahi's Ippon Spree. First one was a nice Kosoto Gake. Only took her 15 seconds to get the referee to hold the hand up in the air. Next two matches, she came out, gripped up as a lefty, and threw as a righty. Now this is the final match. Can she make it four Ippons from four? Comes in again for the Kosoto Gake. Switches to Uranage. But the Austrian steps round, counters with a Kosoto Gare, and scores with a Waza Ari. But still plenty of time left for Gahi, who came straight back, went in for the huge Kosoto Gari. You see in the replay, the reason it was just so effective was she was able to get her leg right across, hit the back leg, and continued driving forward. Her opponent's legs ended up bashing together, almost like an Okuri Ashi Harai, for a huge Ippon victory. And here's a big Osoto Otoshi from a local girl. It delighted the Turkish fans. So here's Osoto Gaishi to Okuri Eri Jime. Choke by Rodriguez. Rodriguez represents Venezuela, but she's been training in Japan for the past three years. Interesting Ukiwaza variation here, almost like a jujitsu deep half guard sweep. Wasn't enough for her to move through the tournament as Graf was able to catch her with an Uranage and then pin her with Kesagatame. Another girl who went on a bit of an Ippon stampede for the French team was Margot Pinot. She was able to score here with Kochigari, but then transitioned to a guard pass. She was able to slide the knee across after she took the opponent's lapel wrapped it under the arm, tight cross face pressure. When she gets the knee out, the ref calls for Osai Komi. Her opponent tries to turn away to escape the pin, but all she manages to do is to turn into the Juji Gatame. So that was submission number one from Pino. Let's have a look at one more Juji Gatame that Pino was able to score. This was in the bronze medal match. So she was eliminated by her countrywoman Gahi in the semi final. Came out strong in the bronze medal match with a nice Juji Gatami after the Germans failed uh, attempt of Uchimata and really did some damage to that arm in a short period of time. So that wasn't the only way of victory for Pino in this tournament. We'll see in a moment another submission she was able to use. Very well practiced with those grip changes. She's changed uh, coaches recently. You might remember seeing a story on Chadi's YouTube channel a few months ago. Uh, she'd alleged that her coach, who was also her former boyfriend, had beaten her up. Since then, she's had a lot of success. She won the Paris Grand Slam, where she was able to throw both of the Japanese representatives for Ippon. The Japanese have announced they'll be sending Shiho Tanaka and Saki Nizue to the World Championships to challenge the French girls and the rest of the world. So here's the Yoko Sankaku Jime finish. She squeezed once, she got the submission, she looked back, the ref didn't stop it, so she squeezed again and got the submission. Now here's the most painful turnover. She's reached over with her left hand, pulling on her opponent's judo gi, pulling it right into her side, and you can see the pain on the opponent's face. So this is sometimes known as the Akimoto turnover position we see used a lot by the Japanese women. Akimoto is one of the coaches. 
of the Japanese women's team has helped a lot with their newaza. Final technique for this video is Yoko Sankaku Gatame, applied by Maria Portela of Brazil. I'm going to have another video up on Friday, and a second video will be coming up next weekend as well. <laughs>